good morning students welcome to the online classes from today you are going to learn your classes concerned subjects through online and through this video classes i am yavas devra your social teacher 20 years experience in dealing social studies the very first lesson what you are going to learn is india its really features in this particular lesson you will learn about uh, india and its location about the himalayas and the three parallel ranges of himalayas the formation of indo gangetic plains the formation of peninsular plateau about the coastal plains and about the thar desert uh, you come across very clearly in this particular lesson dear students if you just go through your textbook and observe very clearly the first map what you have in your textbook uh, map number 1 you can clearly find about a world map uh, which is uh, existing in page number 1 the very first map uh, which identifies and shows very clearly about different uh, continents and different uh, oceans on the map if you observe point number 1 what are the continents we have in the world we have seven continents we have north america we have south america we have africa we have europe continent we have asian continent we have australian continent and we have antarctica continent in the same way we have five oceans we have the pacific ocean we have the atlantic ocean we have the arctic ocean over here we have the indian ocean and we have the southern ocean or also called as antarctica ocean dear students observe the map very clearly you can find different lines on the globe some lines are drawn parallel to each other and some lines are drawn perpendicular to each other if you observe one line a dotted line divides the world into two equal parts and this is called as zero degree latitude there are 180 latitudes 90 on the north and 90 on the south 180 latitudes and plus one equator total 181 latitudes and equator is the biggest latitude what you have and now you find according uh, this world map you can find another zero degree longitude which is uh, drawn perpendicular to the equator and this is uh, called as zero degree longitude which is also called as uh, green which longitude and you have total 360 longitudes dear students observe very clearly the yellow colored shaded part that is our country india if you observe now you are going to learn where is india located according to the latitudes and longitudes what you have seen just now 0 degree latitude is the biggest latitude and we have a 0 degree longitude which is called as green which longitude which passes through london if you observe this equator divides the world into two hemispheres one is called as a northern hemisphere and the other one is called as a southern hemisphere this complete part is called as a northern hemisphere and this is called as a southern hemisphere and the zero degree longitude divides the world into other two hemispheres and this is called as a eastern hemisphere and this is called as a western hemisphere so india is located here if you observe in the map and this is north eastern hemisphere where india is located now coming to the very important point in the examination point of view according to latitude and longitude 
what is the latitude and longitudinal extent of india india is located between 8 degrees 4 minutes to 37 degrees 6 minutes north latitudes 68 degrees 7 minutes to 97 degrees 25 minutes east longitudes dear students the latitudes and longitudes which are the imaginary lines drawn on the globe are just imaginary lines imaginary lines these are not lines what you can see outside on the earth these are just imaginary lines which are drawn on the map or on the globe what is the use of these latitudes and longitudes why you should draw these latitudes and longitudes dear students in the world nearly we have more than 200 countries we can't find a country by its name but we can find a country on the globe according to its location according to latitudes and longitudes so in the globe if you go through 8 degrees 4 minutes and 37 degrees 6 minutes north latitudes and 68 degrees 7 minutes to 97 degrees 25 minutes east longitudes you can find India on the globe between these latitudes and longitudes so the very important thing is that latitudes and longitudes are useful to identify a place on the globe just look into the textbook uh, map number 2 if you just uh, look into the map number 2 you can find India is located between 8 degrees 4 minutes to 37 degrees 6 minutes uh, north latitudes and 68 degrees 7 minutes to 97 degrees 25 minutes uh, east longitudes dear students another important point you can easily find very important half mark answers from north to south you can find the distance of India from north to south is 3214 kilometers from east to west if you observe the distance of India is 2933 kilometers and dear students the yellow color shaded part is the water body what India is covered and this is all the coastal line of India and India is really blessed with a very good coastal line for trade of international trade and commerce and the total coastal line of India is 6100 kilometers. In the same way, the Andhra Pradesh coastal line is 972 kilometers. So dear students, if you observe very clearly the coastal length of India, the coastal line of India is 6100 kilometers and the coastal line of Andhra Pradesh is 972 kilometers. Because of its vast coastal line, India is well connected with the different countries through water transport. And now, you are going to learn a very important point about a peninsula. What is meant by a peninsula? If you observe, peninsula is a piece of land which is covered with water on three sides and land on one side. If you just uh, take uh, India, if you just uh, observe the Indian map, uh, the India is well located with uh, water on three sides. You can find Arabian Sea on the west. You can find Bay of Bengal on the east. And you can find Indian Ocean on the south and you can find Himalayas on the north. Any piece of land, if it is covered with water on three sides and land on one side, that is called as a peninsula. And now we are going to learn what is meant by an island. You just take example of the Sri Lanka, what you have. 
the sri lanka is covered with water on all the sides a piece of land which is covered with water on all the sides is called as an island whereas a piece of land if it is covered with water on three sides and the land on one side that is called a peninsula and now you confirm yourself whether india is a peninsula or not yes india is a peninsula because it is covered with water on three sides and the land on one side so dear students you have clearly learned where india is located between what latitudes and what longitudes in the same way now the task goes to you go through the atlas and find out where is our andhra pradesh located where is andhra pradesh located in the atlas between what latitudes and what longitudes so that is the task for you just recapture the lesson today go through your textbook each and every line prepare your own notes prepare your own questions and answers by seeing the textbook hope you understood the lesson very clearly we will meet in the next class with the continuation of this lesson thank you very much have a great day